Even if you don't think this is weird, and hint, it is. Why are you applauding? Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. I am beardless. I am soulless. The light is bouncing off of my face, I feel like, because the beard is not here to absorb it. If you want me to keep the beard off, go ahead and donate to me on Patreon. Just $1 a month. We're completely independent here. YouTube doesn't like to give us any money. We could really use your help. $1 a month. Patreon.com slash Andrew Says. If you want to hate speech me, which is a new verb I'm inventing right now, then hit me up on one of these socials behind me, Instagram or Twitter, and tell me that the beard was stupid. Tell me that the beard is not stupid and you want to come back. Whatever. At CNN's Equality Town Hall, they finally had to reap what they've been sowing for the past, I don't know, three, four years. Which is, everyone's a victim perpetually. Everyone's sexuality is the best thing about them and the most important thing about them. And in general, it's a me, 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 hashtag me attitude that wasn't an illuminati symbol but this is lady gaga and stuff jay-z it was funny sad and all of the emotions in between emphasis on sad though chris chris cuomo was pretty funny cnn anchors squirmed they said whatever they could to appease the crowd they backtracked within seconds uh, on some points they told the crowd that they were amazing no matter what they did or what they said or how much they interrupted it was really a landmark moment, I think, for CNN to just have everything they've been pushing explode in their face and make the whole night an entire disaster, where they still somehow come out as the evil people, even in a crowd, in a sea of victimhood, an entire production of victimhood, they somehow still came out as the oppressors, even though there's, you would think that they're giving the people exactly what they want. They can hold a town hall, they can let people have as many questions as they want, they can bring out all their fav favorite uh, Democratic candidates, but they're still oppressing you somehow. Exhibit A! A person named Blossom gets up to really give CNN their comeuppance. I want to take a moment before I ask my question to validate the pain of our transgender siblings let that demonstrated earlier and that have spoken up today. Especially black Yes, especially trans whatever it is you said. Of course, pardon me. But let me tell you something, black trans women are being killed in this country and CNN, you have erased black trans women for the last time. Let me tell you something, black trans women are dying, our lives matter. I am an extraordinary black trans woman and I deserve to be here. My black trans sisters that are here, I am tired, I am so tired. I'm just sitting there and it's not just my black trans women, it's my black trans brothers too. And I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. I'm going to say what no, I'm, I'm going to say. Come here. No, no, I just want to ask you something. Come I'm here. Tell me. Come here. I want you to talk. What's your name? I'm Blossom C. Brown. Blossom, let me ask Google you. Google me. Blossom. Me, me, me. Yes, Blossom, Google me. I'm important. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me, no, don't come on the stage. Don't okay, come on the okay. stage. Can, may I have the mic? Okay. May I have the mic? Blossom, let me tell okay. you something. The reason that we're here is to validate people like you. That is why we're giving, but that is why we're here. Okay. But I... Yeah, yeah. Hang on, we can't hear you. Blossom, we can't hear you. Here, Blossom, we can't hear you. Baby, your actions have to speak louder than words because guess what? Not one black trans woman has taken the mic tonight. You're... Not one black trans man has taken the, bla uh, the mic tonight. Yeah. Show me. You, Blossom, Show me. Blossom. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Blossom, you're a black trans woman. You have the mic in your hand. I've given, I've taken it and given it back to you. We want to hear from you. We have had trans people of color. We've had all people here. And you're welcome. But we, but we are proud and happy that you're here. We're proud and happy that you're here. Yes, but remember, we, we're on our time constraint. All right. Thank you, Blossom. And I appreciate it. Yeah, that's how anti-blackness works amongst people of color. That's what anti-blackness looks like. The erasure of black trans people. All right. I'm here, we're here in this room. Please give us that opportunity. Blossom, thank you so much. And we appreciate thank you. it. Thank you very much. Yes, well, I got it. There you go. Yes. Good God, O'Rourke is cringy, isn't he? He's just like, yes, the best speech I've ever heard. Now, I've watched CNN from time to time in my many years, all 20 years on this planet. And they haven't erased black trans women to the best of my knowledge. 
Now, Don Lamone is right. They're doing this silly town hall to support all of this, all of these opinions, all these viewpoints, and that's still not enough. Why? Because it's never enough until you fully give them all the power, until you hand them the keys and say, you're in charge of this, I was wrong, I am I may be a black gay guy, however, you're right, I'm wrong, I'm trying to erase this from you. <laughs> Don gives her, gives her the microphone to say anything, and what does he get in return? He gets called anti-black by the end of it, he's saying he's trying to erase people that are trans and black. Now let's just move right along here, there's a quick court case, we've got exhibit B for you. That was the okay sign. Whoa, it can't be doing that either. Pastor Pete Buttigieg is on stage, the most religious man in the DNC, given his opinions on all of this. And this is what happens. As I know you are aware, quick. It's okay. It's okay. Be cool. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, 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 guys, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, guys, chill out, guys. Relax, relax. Let me just. Let me just point out, there is a long and proud tradition in history in the gay, lesbian, and transgender community of protest, and we applaud them for their protest. And they are absolutely right. Anderson can't even say this without laughing. <laughs> ...and upset at the lack of attention, protect, particularly in the media, on the lives of transgendered. I, I agree with you, ma'am. I'm not applauding. Yeah. All right. Mayor Buttigieg, thanks so much for being here. So did you catch that? Anderson said, we applaud them. And then 20 seconds later, he says, I'm not applauding. I'm not applauding right now. What are you talking about? He's a girl emoji where they go, eh? Just to shut them up because he knows it's ridiculous. How are you protesting Pete Buttigieg? Yes, protest Buttigieg because he's been so detrimental to your cause. <laughs> the guy's so squeaky clean, as far as I know. I wouldn't vote for him, but... This is the guy you choose to protest during? Maybe they did during everybody. They did through, for a few, but Buttigieg seemed to be the only one who got the signs and the banners rolled out on him. And this is exactly what Dave Chappelle was saying in his last special, wasn't it? This is what he meant by the LGBs are being brought down by the T's. Why? Because nothing's ever enough. There's no solution to any of these problems. It's besides, you can now call the shots. There's no solution ever given. It's just put put more people into the spotlight, give me more attention. That's all it ever is. And that brings us to Exhibit C. It's Grandma's turn, apparently. Elementary school student from Massachusetts likes to play hockey. Jacob. All right, Jacob. Um, my name is Jacob, and I'm a nine-year-old transgender American. Uh -huh. My question is... All right, Jacob. <laughs> What will you do in your first week as president to make sure that kids like me feel safer in schools? And what do you think schools need to do better to make sure that I don't have to worry about anything but my homework? Oh, I like that question, Jacob. Now, adorable kid, and good question, relatively, don't get me wrong, but why are you applauding him even before he gets his question out? It's like the crowd and the supporters are so intellectually imprisoned that simply stating your sexuality or gender is the thing that gets the biggest applause. Yay! Yay, that's all that matters. So, it's no wonder that no one addresses the violence. It's because your entire movement from the start, and still is, agree with me based on my appearance, my identity, my sexuality, or else you're wrong. There's no time to get to these other topics when you can't get past calling people whatever name you want to call them instead of just saying their identity here. It's, it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm getting lost in my own confusion about it. But there's no real time for conversation if you can't get past, uh, my name is Andrew, I'm Tasmanian, and I'm a two-spirited YouTuber. Look up two-spirited if you don't know what that means. You can't talk about anything else if you're busy lambasting people, uh, racist, sexist, transphobic, bigoted, um, I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say, okay? But it had to do with whales. 
uh, figure that one out. Warren, however, was not above criticism either. She had, somebody had to be, ta everybody had to be taken down in some way. Elizabeth no Warren is no different, okay? Especially as a white cisgendered woman. Now, I've included the tweet above the next video of Warren because she did an uh-oh. She sang an offensive song. Yeah. Was there ever a time that you felt differently about this issue in particular, about same-sex marriage? No, I don't think so. I actually don't remember it. I mean, it may have been the case. I don't, you know, I don't have notes from when I was a little kid. But, <laughs> but I don't. And that's part of it. I mean, to me, it's about what I learned in the church I grew up in. First song I ever remember singing is, they are yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves all the children of the world. And to me... Can you I'm sing it again? Her. You bet. <laughs> uh, you want to harmonize with me on this? <laughs> but, but to me, that is the heart of it. That was the basis of the faith that I grew up in. And it truly is about the preciousness of each and every life. It is about the worth of every human being. And that I saw this as a matter of faith and saw there are a lot of different people who do a lot of different things, um, who look different from each other, who sound different from each other, who form different kind of families. And I, I know that back in Oklahoma in those days, there weren't many people who were out. But the way I grew up, it was just gradual. It was the two ladies who lived together. And it was just a part of what we understood. So I, I cut it off a bit. Warren gives a, a detailed answer about why she was is religious and has always been loving of everybody and can't remember when she was against gay marriage or anything like that. But no, you said the word yellow. I feel like I'm a preacher doing this. And she said a yellow, and not black and white and brown, those are all okay. No, but she said yellow, and we're allowed to call people black, we're allowed to call people white and brown, and they identify as such, and we all call ourselves that, but yellow, which I've never heard an Asian person call themselves, but obviously it's an old-ass song, that's racist, you guys. She can't even recall a song that she sang as a kid without being called racist. Oh, how far we've come. Now, last and certainly not least, you guys, I saved the best for laugh. It's dear, dear sweet Christopher is Exhibit D. D comes after C, so Christopher, D, who knows? My beloved Frodo, how do you betray the family, Christopher? Or then you could, or that's a uh, godfather. You could go the other way, Sopranos. Christopher! I really wish I could do a Tony Soprano. What are you talking? What do you mean? I can't do it. I don't know. Just got always got to resort to Alex Jones. We're trying to get Frito out here. The deep state's got Christopher Frito under lockdown. He's trying to oppress us. He's trying to expose the deep state and the interdimensional aliens. They won't have it. CNN's blocking him. What do you mean their CNN's blocking him, Alex? I'm a Navy SEAL. Good to see you, Senator. Thank you for joining us. How Appreciate you? it. And my pronouns right. are she, her, and hers. She, her, and hers. Mine too. Yay, your pronouns. There it is again. Kamala, you're so great. Let's go over it though. You get an applause. These are the things you get an applause for. Stating that you're trans. Virtue signaling to about anything as long as it's uh, calling other people better than you. Saying you're oppressed. Stating your pronouns. You are literally rewarded for accepting their religious dogma. For for saying the doctrine you're repeating the doctrine of the um of your religion here and you were welcomed into the cult you were rewarded with applause and all these positive feelings yes your name is jane now we are all the janes i am jane you are jane we are all oppressed <laughs> but in that in the uh, the wonderful preaching of her uh, of her pronouns did you catch chris cuomo's very valid mistake here. Did you catch it? It was very disgusting what he did. Check it out again. And my pronouns right. are she, her, and hers. She, her, and hers. Mine too. How dare you, Christopher? 
How dare you make a joke and disrespect the family? You must apologize and save the family's dignity, Christopher. Please read. When Senator Harris said her pronouns were she, her, and hers, I said mine too. I should not have. I apologize. I'm an ally of the LGBTQ community, plus plus 2R3, R2D2, C3PO, and I am sorry because I am committed to helping us achieve equality. Thank you for watching our town hall. This is just like an actor, <laughs> sorry, an athlete after a game, just going through the motions of what's expected to them. This is what this apology is. Somebody apologizing just because that's what's expected to th of them and just to get everybody off their back. So it's a lot like an athlete after a game. Uh, he's obligated to speak to the media and answer a couple questions, so he just says whatever. It doesn't make any sense. has no value to it. You know, she came out there. She said her pronouns. I decided to make a joke. Probably shouldn't have done it, but what can you do? It's a, it's a rough game out there. We're always firing on all cylinders. you gotta you got to do the right thing, try to get in the position, try to do your best to move it down the ice and uh, it, it's a two-way sport just like the uh, the B and LGBT you gotta go both ways sometimes and I just wanted to go out there and do the best that I could but you can't always do what you want to do and sometimes you just gotta apologize on Twitter I put out my best apology sometimes it's not the best apology but you do the best you can and you just hopefully hopefully things go the way you want them to do and you just look forward to next week you, got, you gotta just put your head down uh, be defensive uh, tweet as much as you can and hope the things go your way next week. Okay? Alright, thanks. At this point, to use one of their own terms against them, this community is so toxic. It's just like it's just like when people got get caught talking about China poorly or in the way China perceives as poor. You speak wrong about China, you lose money, you lose your job, you're supposed to lose your career. If you were in China, you would. Luckily, we're across the ocean. You must speak positively about the emperor, that is this community, or else. Or else it's game over for you. And what's it all about? It's about power, just like China. If you speak truth to power, then that might create dissent. Give me the keys and let me drive, or else there shall be no car ride at all. It doesn't matter that I can't drive and that I don't have a license. You must say what I want. We must go where I want, just like China. You must agree with me or the entire trip is over. And just like China, you cannot speak out against it or else you have been ostracized in advance. You know the feeling. Just like when Chinese people recently are talking about Hong Kong, they're asked if they like the Chinese government and if the Chinese government ever makes a mistake. Does the LGBT community ever make a mistake? Does the trans community ever make a mistake? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, they're perfect and nobody ever does anything wrong.